Oh, I want to go back to something that you, you mentioned a little bit earlier, and it's something I've heard you speak about before as well, about micro customer experiences. Talk to me about those a little bit. Yeah, so a, a micro customer experience is a small, subtle, and memorable gesture that you'll do for your customers that will resonate with them for years. Uh, my argument is that they could outperform any any uh, traditional uh, advertising campaign. Uh, the Warby Parker example, right? Um $25 and a great employee uh, created tens of thousands of dollars of free media for them. So we have that budget every single month where our employees are free to tap into that budget and create experiences for our customers. I like, so within your customer journey, and uh, I know you spoke to uh, Annette France uh, about customer journey mapping, um, which and she's great, by the way. Um, within the customer journey, your customers are expecting great service or interactions during the, the macro touch points. So for example, uh, for me in hospitality, it's when somebody calls um, for a reservation, uh, when their food's brought to the table, those are macro uh, interactions. They expect you to be good, right? And, but, and, and, you, and you must, but where I like to play is just in that bottom layer, those little micro interactions um, that your customers don't expect you to be delivering great experiences to. And more often than not, your competitors aren't focused there. They're focused on the macro. So you, it's, it's twofold. Um, so what are some other micro interactions that you, you know, th that comes back to just experience design, um, going through your customer journey outlining all of your customer journey, uh, sorry, outlining your entire customer journey map, outlining the macro and the micro interactions, and asking yourself, what can we do during these micro interactions? So for example, um, Laura Grant, she's our guest relations manager, and she every reservation goes through her and her team. But what we've trained them to do is, again, listen, Listen to your customers, ask some probing questions so that you can gather some customer intelligence. For example, um, let's say I was a guest and I happened to call in to book a reservation. And by way of conversation, I said I was a Vancouver Canucks fan, a uh, hockey team. Um, what can we do with that information? Maybe uh, we have something waiting them uh, waiting for them at the table before the reservation that has um, you know a piece of memorabilia something affordable something waiting on their on their table or maybe you know we have this these cocktails where there's a stencil that you spray and then it appears on the cocktail maybe it's the logo of Baker Canucks or something like that right those are the micro things that really drive word of mouth.